Today we're gonna to be talking all about my pursuit of perfection. My journey in portrait photography has always been in pursuit of perfection. Perfecting my lighting, perfecting my posing, perfecting my composition, and perfecting my post-production. In pursuit of mastering these four areas of photography, I believe I've lost the meaning of what portrait photography means to me. So I got it wrong. Portrait photography is not about perfection. It's the complete opposite of perfection. Portrait photography is about capturing the personality of the person. Capturing the essence of what your subject is feeling at the time they're in front of the camera. As a portrait photographer, it is my job to pull out from my subjects the mood and the feeling by using the tools in my toolkit, such as lighting, posing, composition, etc. Do I need to be perfect with these tools? Yes. However, I don't need to be a perfectionist. In reviewing my work from 2017, I felt a little bit disconnected from my work. It's okay to do a self-assessment of your work and be overly critical of it. The moment you believe your work has gotten to a point where you feel like you have lost your way is when you stop and make adjustments. When I look at my work or anyone looks at my work, I don't want them to assess the technical nature of my work or how it was captured. I want them to be captivated by the imagery and I want them to implant their own story to that image. I felt my work has lost that. It's February of 2018 and I'm picking up my camera for the second time this year to create these portraits. On this photo shoot, I have very clear goals on what I want to capture. My subject for today, her name is Hannah. I connected with her on IG. From a wardrobe perspective, when I was studying her IG, I fell in love with her style. So when she asked me for inspiration, I basically sent her her own images for inspiration. In addition, I gave her four words to come up with a look for this shoot. Elegant, fashion, editorial, and edgy. Now I realize all those words means different things and represents different looks, but to be honest with you, I knew she could have rocked all of those looks based on my review of her IG. So as far as the lighting setup is concerned for this particular photo shoot, Going into this shoot, I knew I wanted something very, very soft. So I wanted to bring my large uh, soft box for this particular shoot. Since I'm gonna be outside, I knew I needed my AD600, my Godox AD600. In addition, I brought my Godox AD200 as well to act as a hair light, but I ended up not using that and I used the, the sun more as the hair light in this particular shoot. So basically, in this shoot, all I had was my one uh, Godox AD600 and I used the sun as my hair light. Also, I knew the lights had to be capable of high speed sync because I knew I was gonna be shooting at a very high shutter speed. Lastly, for this photo shoot, I did something that I never did before, which was play music. I think music helped with this particular subject to help to bring out her emotion a little bit more, help her to emote. So I really think that's something that I'm gonna be using a lot more in future photo shoots. Unfortunately, because I'm playing music, we can't be using the audio uh, from uh, the, the photo shoot session, but I really think it helped with the subject and helped bring out that emotion a little bit more. I'm 
So, in pursuit of not being perfect, the two assistants on this shoot, Andrea and Dee, basically, it wasn't planned for them to be part of this photo shoot. The only thing that was planned was for them to basically assist me on this photo shoot. However, because I wasn't trying to be perfect and I was trying to be spontaneous, I included them in the shoot and I think I really loved the results. The pursuit of perfection can never be obtained. And there's nothing wrong in pursuing it, but don't let that journey make you lose your passion like it did for me. So in conclusion, my goal on this particular photo shoot was to capture the woman I saw on IG and not the model. But on a serious note, my real goal on this particular photo shoot was to add imperfection to my toolkit. Alright guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Share this video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.